Hi guys, welcome back to my Viva channel. I have a new Viva. Wait a second. Oh, I lost today's new Viva. So I have a new Viva partner, Sarah Ortiz, best sis ever. Um, and so we're just gonna get into it. Um, I'm kind of tired. Okay, so, this week, this week's Viva is, how did the Viking invasions reshape Europe? And so, although the Anglo-Saxon Chronicle um, tends to focus on the negative violence of the Viking people, their innovation strategies and colonization of the continent shifted the political center of gravity from southern to northern Europe. So the three ways that they did this is one, that they ended the Carolingian, Carolingian dynasty, Carolingian, Carolingian dominance, they ended that. Two, they reshaped the map. And three, they transformed the culture of Europe through technology and literature. So my first point is that they helped the, to hasten the decline of the Carolingian dominance over Northern Europe. So the Viking era, era, I was there. The Viking era was 789 to 1066. Um, so before Charlemagne's death in 814, so a little bit before 814, Charlemagne starts to experience these, this trouble with um, some of the neighboring countries. So he is from France, so he's Frankish. And so his neighbors are Danes, they're the Danes. And so they kind of get under the influence of the Saxons. And the, just the Franks, and they just didn't get along, you know? There were some problems and some issues. So Charlotte, so that happens. Um, and just a quick side note, Charles the Fat is the last Carolingian emperor before the Carolingian dynasty just goes out altogether. So a story of this is Charlemagne is sitting and eating dinner on a seaside town in southern Gaul and he's eating his dinner when all of a sudden a fleet of pirates comes and starts to attack. And so, you know, he's they're kind of like, who are these people, you know, and there's a lot of confusion on who these people are. And so some say that they're Jewish merchants, others say that they're traders from Africa or Britain, but you know, no one really knows. So Charlemagne builds these ships and he has his men chase down these, these pirates and the ships that he built. And the men come back and tell him that they're actually Northmen or Vikings. So Charlemagne's men chase them and they try to get them and capture them and make them pay. But, unfortunately, they are outsailed by these Northmen, or later known as Vikings. This is a quote from Charlemagne, and it's, quote, I am not afraid of these ruffians who will be able to do me any harm. I am an honored stricken, horror stricken when I foresee what evil they will do to my descendants and their subjects, end quote. So Charlemagne was just really um, scared to see where the Vikings were going, and he could tell that they were a really intense group of people but that's okay because even though they did cause a lot of havoc they actually did a lot of good for Europe my second point is that they reshaped the map by setting and establishing new kingdoms throughout Europe so they created the foundation of Dublin um, and they also discovered many countries like Iceland Greenland North America that's awkward. <laughs> um, so they just, they created a ton. They just discovered a ton of places. They were explorers. They were adventurers. And so it was really easy for them to do. They're, and the reason, it's really interesting how they put language within their countries that they find. So, for example, three suburbs of Dublin, Dublin, sorry, are Rathmes, Rathgar, and Rathahem. And so, you know, some might say, well, what do these three 
you know, cities have in common? The answer is Hathgar. Hathar is a Viking fort. And so these three towns' um, names actually originate from this Viking fort. And so you can just see that kind of all throughout history, just the language that comes from Vikings and how they spoke. So this is a quote from Michael Lamoros, Lamorex, and it says, quote, the Vikings were the preeminent explorers of their time, end quote. And so they were just, they were explorers. They liked to go on ships and sail and find new land, find new people to terrorize, but they liked adventure. I think that's one thing that all the Vikings had in common, whether they were raiders and warriors or traders and um explorers like they just all had this adventurous spirit that they wanted to um wanted to keep going with so my third and final point is that they transformed europe with their technological advances and their literature and trade so they had a lot of things that was really just super um, advanced for their time. They had carbon weapons, they had advanced ships, navigation techniques, they improved trade, and they also improved construction. And you can see this um, from looking at where they used to live in these ditches, you know, kind of like in a really small piece of land, like right by the lake, I mean, these big, you know, um, like canyon, canyon kind of things to these beautiful castles that we see. Um, so they just really advanced construction tremendously in trade. Some Vikings, again, as I've, I think I've already said this, were raiders and warriors. I mean, they're violent and they're intense and, you know, nobody, it's just insane. Um, but the majority, that's where we look at Vikings from, you know, and that's probably because we always look at the negative first. But the majority were explorers and traders, and they do this very extensive trade network, and they just create this extensive trade. They also create these things called sagas. So sagas are these stories that they would tell, and they would pass down and tell around a fire. And, you know, we saw this from Eli's social history presentation. It was very cold and cozy. <laughs> um, but sagas remained grounded in reality versus Homer's writings of the gods and myths and just this very unrealistic kind of crazy adventures. Sagas were very down to earth and just stories about life. So, you know, many of the stories were about farmers, lovers, fighters, families, warriors, kings, betrayal, dilemmas. So there's just a ton of stories about, you know, different, just down to earth people things, you know. So women had also a major role in these stories. I'm so sorry. I don't know why she's yelling. So women had a main roles in these writings, which is super different again from Homer or any of the other writers who kind of look down on women or don't put them in a high standard. Sagas did. And yeah. Um, my last quote again is from Michael Lamarrox. And it says, quote, the Vikings were technologically advanced in construction techniques for their time, end quote. So again, although we think and the Anglo Saxon Chronicles say that the Vikings were these violent, brutal people. Their innovation strategies and colonization of the content shifted the political center of gravity from Southern Europe to Northern Europe. Oh, that did not look good. <laughs> Sorry, Sarah. And they again did this through the taking down the Carolingian do dominance. They reshaped the map of Europe and they transformed the culture of Europe through technology and literature, literature and trade. So that's it for this week, Viva. Thanks for watching. I'm sorry you had to hear my mom and siblings fight oh, my life. <laughs> but um, keep, keep living and keep it up. And I hope you have a great day.